Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. It's too early in the morning, man. Two hours, man, two hours. So what I wanna do is like, like go back to sleeper birth, right? Go to certify, go to that on duty, hit edit, hit that back to sleeper birth, hit next, reason for the edit, E-D-I-T, and save, and that'll give me, uh, no, not ready, not ready. That'll give me my eight hours back. Now, now we can hit hours of service. We can hit the change, on duty, pre-trip, post-trip, and we can get on up out of here, man. Shout out to my man, AJ from Papa Lock. He came over and hooked your boy up. You know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. I was about to make a, I, you know, I was about to, like I get up every morning, you know, I check my Facebook, YouTube, email, all that good stuff. Figure out what I was gonna talk about for a video today, right? I wake up at five o'clock, so this is about 5.30. I do my pre-trip, I walk around the truck, make sure that everything's all right, lights on and all like that. I come back to my truck, guess what the fuck happened? Take a guess. I locked my motherfucking keys in the truck. Ah, uh, shit, shit, shit. I locked my keys in the truck, and I'm like, God damn it, man. I usually I lock, I usually leave the passenger door like unlocked just in cases like that. The passenger door was locked, driver's door was locked. I was like, fuck. So it was a it was a truck. It was a bobtail truck in the parking lot. So I went to the I went to the car hauler truck. Shout out to that to that car hauler truck, man. Shout out to him. It's about it's about what six seven about six thirty close to seven o'clock in the morning. So I'm over here knocking on this dude's door like a motherfucking lot lizard and shit. Dude come to the window, he looks at me, I look at him, I was like, look man, I'm the truck driver of the truck in front of you. Ugh, fuck. What's up, driver? Man, sorry to bother you this morning, man. I'm the driver of the truck up front. Can I use your phone right quick? I shut my damn door and lock my keys in the truck. Dude come to the window, he looks at me, I look at him, I was like, look man, I'm the truck driver of the truck in front of you. So fucked up, came out to do my pre-trip and shit and... <laughs> so... Yeah, I'm, I'm legit, man, this, this is my truck right here. For real, for real. I'm, it's no bullshit, so... I would, but I wouldn't bullshit you. I wouldn't bullshit you at at six o'clock in the morning. And so he raised down the window. and He's like, "Yo, I'm trying to sleep. I'm trying." He's a foreigner. He, I'm trying to sleep. I'm trying to sleep. What's going on? What's the matter? I'm sorry. No, I, I just need to use the phone right quick so I can call my company so they can send a lot, or you know, somebody unlock my car. I mean, my truck. I was like, man, I lock my I lock my my keys in the in in the truck. I said my phone's in there, my wallet's in there, you know, I, I, everything in there. I was like, you have a phone right quick I can use so I can call my company. I have not any sick equipment to open your truck. No, no, I just need to use the phone so I can call my company so they can send somebody to unlock the truck. <laughs> 4 a.m. over here. No, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> crazy right you know let them know that you know I lock my keys in the car now mind you I understand his kind of his his hesitation right you know it's it's fucking it's fucking six o'clock in the morning and you got a you got a black guy knocking on your door asking to use your phone you know usually you know normally that don't happen no I, I kid I'm I'm straight up honest man this JNR Swoogle been working there for two and a half years Parked here last night, got up this morning, 
pre-tripped, come back to my door and yeah. Where is your home? Ohio. I live in Cleveland, Ohio. I got a, I got a drop that's due this morning at eight o'clock at Madonna, Georgia. He was like, he was like, well, where are you from? I was like, yo, I'm from Cleveland in Ohio. I said, look, my truck number is yada, yada, yada. I said, my company is Jerry and R. Schwugel. I said, the phone number is right there on the back of the truck. I said, you know what? I said, you call the phone number for me and tell them that I need, I need roadside assist. I mean, if you don't, I mean, you know, that's the phone number right there, 800-359-2900, hit eight, and let them know truck number 12928. You wake, wake me up, I arrive here 4 a.m. Oh, 4 o'clock. You understand? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, I got here, yeah, I, I got here like, maybe about midnight last night so he was like okay okay I, you know he was like well where are you heading to i was like i'm going to madonna georgia coming from pa so you know i understand the the the, the, the 20 questions you know you you don't want to just give anybody your phone you know what i'm saying or or just want to wake up at fucking six o'clock in the morning yeah i i feel you <laughs> i feel you I mean, I, I just need to use the phone right quick. I mean, I understand if you don't want me to, but that's that's cool. Okay, just call and give me the phone. I wait for you. Oh, I ain't going nowhere. I'm right here. Now, mind you, dude just got there at four o'clock in the morning, right? So here I am, here I am breaking this dude's sleep because of my dumb ass locking the damn keys in my truck. I even put it on speaker for you. He turned out to be a cool dude. He turned out to be real cool. So he gave me his phone. I called. Now here's, man, listen. I called my company up. I hit eight, and then they put me on hold. Five minutes go past, 10 minutes go past. I'm like, oh, what the, whoa, whoa. Why is it taking night dispatch so long to answer the phone? He gets out of the truck and he came, you know, we went around the truck. He was like, well, what kind of truck you got? I was like, I got an inter uh, international LT. I called my company back. I'm still on hold. Five minutes, 10 minutes. Something told me to, to call the shop because now it's seven o'clock in the morning. So I called back, dialed the extension number and my man Dale answered the phone. Uh, Dale, I think. Joe. Joe, yo, what's up, man? If I pronounce his name wrong, my bad. But um, he answered the phone and he was like, yo, what's going on, Sean? I was like, hey, I'm locked out of my truck. I need somebody to come over and uh, yada, yada, yada. But I told him, I said, hold up right quick. I said, hold up right quick because I already called Papa Lock. Papa Lock was the first company that I ever started with when I got into the roadside game. Calling Papa Lock, Laura speaking. How can I help you? Yeah, Laura, how you doing? Um, my name is uh, LaShawn. Uh, I'm a truck driver. I lock my keys in my truck up here at the Walmart. And he was like, oh, well, you, you call Papa Lock. Okay, so all you just need is a... Uh, it's a PO to get reimbursed. I was like, you know what? Yeah, he was like, how much How much they charge? Yo, I need a lockout, man. I already called, already called, uh, already called Pop Lock and they're on their way, but if you got somebody that you can get over here, that, that I'll call them back and cancel it. How much is Pop Lock charging you? Be there in 40 minutes, price would be $95. Did you wanna do that? Y'all take credit, would he be able to take a credit card when he get here? 95. Fuck no, that's a deal and a half. Records would charge me twice that. I was like, Papa Lot said $95. Uh, he was like, oh man, yeah, let's go with him. Because he said if I was to call a record, they they will charge me way more. Yeah, shit, just get it popped open and give, give me a call back when you have the receipt in hand with the exact total and I'll shoot you a PO. All right, that'll work, bruh. I really do appreciate it. They should be here in about it should be here in about 40, about 40 minutes. Uh, and if oh, they- hell yeah, it's faster and cheaper than somebody I got found. Okay, cool, man, cool. I used to be in the business. I was just, I was talking about that this morning. I was like, lock out men, lock this stuff out of the damn truck again. The last few times I locked myself out of the truck, 
was when I was at the truck stops and I was able to go in there by the lockout kit and get in the truck myself. This time I'm up at Walmart. You know, me and the dude, you know, dude gave me a couple of dollars to go in there to see if they, if Walmart had a lockout kit. So I go in there, I asked dude, I was like, you got a lockout kit? What's up, my G? How's it going? Man, y'all got a lockout kit? Lockout kit? Yeah. Uh, I'm not too sure what that is. Uh, lockout kit, you know, when you know when somebody locked the keys in the car. Oh no, I have not seen anything like that here. You talking about like the little Jimmy bar? Yeah. Yeah, nah. I can't say I've ever seen that here. I've been just about in every single. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've been in every single aisle of this store. My man said, "What the hell is a lockout kit?" I was like, "Lockout kit, you know, when you get locked out of your out of your car." It was like, "Oh, oh no, we don't have that." I was like, you got a coat hanger or something like that? So I had to go and break the car haulers dude's sleep again because I know the dude probably called and he didn't answer the phone because he was asleep. I called the dude up. His name was his name was AJ. Shout out to AJ. So I'm over here on the phone like, yo, bro. I was like, what's up? He was like, yeah, you. We. I thought you didn't want us no more. I was like, dude, I'm over here in the cold waiting on you, man. Come on now. Yeah, hey, pop a lot guy. No, no, come through, bro. This is somebody else's phone. He was asleep. Yeah, man, yeah, I, yeah, I need you. <laughs> I did, yeah, so yeah, come through, bro. All right, and listen, this is somebody else's phone. I'm waiting for you right here at the truck. Yeah, that was him calling. Thank you. It was like, oh, oh, okay, well, let me go ahead and turn around and I'll come back. You know, I asked the car hauler, I was like, look, man, here's a couple of dollars for your time. I, you know, I wanted to give him a couple of dollars. He was like, no, 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 that's okay, that's okay. I was like, man, I really do appreciate you, man. This, and this, that car hauler showed me so much love that a lot of these fucking truck drivers are missing. A lot of these motherfucking truck drivers out here are missing that shit right there. Because that car hauler really didn't have to do what he did for me this morning, man. That that dude could have looked at me and thought I was some fucking bum off the street. Like, yo, get away from my door, lot lizard. <laughs> AJ, my man AJ from Papa Lot came over to the truck, right? This dude came with the, with the, with the, with the fucking lot pick. Uh, the lockpick contraption. I looked at that shit. I was like, "Yo, bro," I was like, "You?" I said, "You're not gonna do you use the long reach tool or nothing like that?" He was like, "No, I I got this right here." That man put that little thing in there, flipped the switch, turned the key, and I was like, "Oh hell no! I need one of those, bro." Now uh, this man coming with the Jimmy Red keys. What's up, man? Good morning. What's up, man? How are you? I, I was getting, I was worried about you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> can you, uh, can you get in here? Um. No, good luck. Nah, I'm just messing with you. I'll try. <laughs> oh, what, you're a YouTuber? Yeah. Are you? Oh, that's cool, man. Uh, thank you, thank you. You have a channel? Yeah, Lockout Men at doc, uh, at uh, YouTube. Lockout? I used to do. I used to be sure, in the business. Yeah, you have a. Uh, you have a. Um, I used. Do you to have a like a, a Ford? Do you have like a? Is it a blue or, or yellow truck or something? No, nah, it's a black Ford F one fifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I see your videos before. Yeah, I used to be in the business. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I used what to happened? be. Nah, man, I got out, did my pre-trip this morning and left, left my damn key in the damn truck. <laughs> my man. Man, this is so cool. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> How are you? I, I see you. I said, I need one of those, man. Where can I get one of those from? It was like, it was like, you know, the company gave it to me. So yeah, that's how my day is, man. Three fucking hours later. Man, how, how do you open this truck? Uh, how would I would do it? I mean, you you did it you did it the smooth way. I would have went on here and did it the 
came up with the with the with the hook. I got a I got like a uh, like a S tool. I would have came up under the hook, clip onto the latch, and pulled it up. Uh, okay, show me the the tool if you have it. I yeah, I don't have it on me. That's uh -oh. the problem. <laughs> Yeah, because if you have it, you don't even need to call me. <laughs> I know, right? Yo, Mike! Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, man, I was at this place. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. But you gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize, don't be running back. Ain't no sunshine when I'm gone.